Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to kill three of the bi weekly contest 114 split away into maximum number of subways. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. Uh, I made a silly mistake for uh, for this problem during the thing. Uh, I was trying to. I think I got the core idea right, but I think I just kind of uh, missed a case and then I just didn't really look at the examples. I think maybe that's my takeaway for this contest is slow down and read the examples. But basically, okay. This is a bitwise n, right? And and some some uh, some of this requires, or not requires, but but uh, par, but part of the speed requires experience because um, you know there are properties that you get from bitwise n that you just you know that you get if you have to practice. If you don't, then it'll take a look uh, quite a bit longer just because that's the way it is. But if you do, then it's faster, right? Um, and it, and just to be clear, it's nothing super hard or impossible. It's just that it takes time if you haven't done it before. And the thing with bitwise n is that uh, the first op op observation, not operation, the first observation about it is with bitwise n is that the more numbers you have, the smaller the bitwise n is going to be. Or I mean, it, you know, it could be also, or it stays the same, so it's monotonically decreasing the more number uh, of elements that you have, right? The cardinality, right? So, so that means that, and yeah, so that means that in theory, t to minimize uh, the the bitwise n of the array, you, in theory, the, gre the greedy is going to work because you want the entire um, you want to you want to do a bitwise n of the entire array. If the and for this particular problem, you want the sum of the scores of the subarray. So that means that if if you have a non-zero score, you're only going to have one. Um, um, you're only going to have one element, right? Uh, the reason is because if you try splitting the two and they're both non-zero, then you're going to have a bigger number than just having one of them. So you're always going to have just one subarray. Uh, which is the entire way if it's non zero what happens if it's zero well if it's zero then you you just basically dividing uh this entire sub uh this entire way into sub arrays where each of them are zeros together because that's the only way you get zeros anyway uh, as a sum of the sub arrays so so yeah so now you're trying to split them up into each sub array of zero and how do you do that well in this particular problem you just do it by greedy um, because you have to use every element, so every element has to be either, you know, or every element has to be in a part of a array where that that sub array will bitwise n to zero, right? So and because you have to use every element, you can just do a sweep from left to right, and when you get a zero, then that's it, right? Because in a greedy kind of way, when you have a bitwise, uh, when the sub array is zero, then you can finish. Because then now, um, to maximize the number of subarrays, you want to minimize the length of each subarray, right? And if you have a prefix that uh, bitwise n to zero, that means that that's the smallest array possible, and then you could do the rest. Um, the only case where this does not happen is if the rest of the array um, does not uh, uh, sum to bitwise n of zero, right? Because that means like, for example, if you have I don't know. Just as an ex just a, as a very obvious example, like if you have zero and zero zero, uh, okay, maybe a little bit less obvious. Three or uh, um, hmm, four and two, right? So d d this bit rise to zero, and then you have a lot of numbers afterwards. Uh, of course, uh, so in a greedy sort of way, as we said, we first divide this, and then this is a subway, right? but this doesn't add to or bitwise n to zero. So what do we do? Well, in a way, also greedy kind of way, we just we know that previously there's a bitwise n of zero. So and if this is not a bitwise n of zero, then you could just add the two together, right? Because then now for this will always be a bitwise n of zero because it's just zero and five and you know dot 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 and that will always be zero. So that's basically the idea uh, for this problem. Uh, and yeah. And that's all I have. Um, I initially, uh, yeah, we could go over it, but that's basically what I said, right? So 
for every component where you know uh, the first time we see a bit wise n of zero uh, we add the carry and then we set it to infinity just so that we can um, keep on is a sentinel value right so yeah um, so I, I for some reason I thought that um, I forgot I don't know I I, I watched this one during the contest a little bit. I, I was still not awake. Uh, that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Um, but uh, yeah, and and I just forgot. I just forgot the case where two numbers can bitwise to a uh, bitwise n to zero without them being zero. So I thought that the answer would be just the number of zeros, but uh, but clearly that's not true. So yeah. Um, or like that's not that's not enough so yeah uh, this is linear time a uh, constant space and that's all I have for this one let me know what you think um, the, I think the the part that um, if you don't get it, uh, it the part that's a little tricky is the greedy part and part of that uh, trickiness is just the proof um, remember that um, you know it has to be zero that's one the first observation uh, or if it's not, then it, you just have one subarray. So uh, the subarray has to have a bitwise n of zero, and then greedy because if you minimize to maximize the number of components, you want to minimize the number of arrays. So yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. You could watch, and it took me a little bit of time to convince or like to convince myself as well. So that's why it's a little bit slow. So you could kind of see that during the live portion if you want to, if you're curious of how like. Well, I'm, I mean, I, I don't think I articulated that well, but I, you know, you can see how I think about each problem as well. But yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, you can watch me solve it live in the contest now. <clears throat> what a silly mistake. <sighs> okay. Maximum number of subways. It's such a weird problem. That's just weird. Okay, fine. Is it just the number of zeros plus one? One. Mm. 
be the only one that thinks that, right? YOLO. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess this is the case with I thought about something like this, but then I uh, I'm sloppy. <sighs> I forgot about that. So I wrote it down and then I forgot. Okay, fine. What why did I write it this way? Oh, I actually messed this up. Okay, okay. I am just being dumb today. Uh. Okay, yeah, that's right. Because a sub array can be zero. Uh, it's good advice for N. Okay, fine. But, um. <coughs> Now, now that this is zero, then we uh, today is just been a bad day. <laughs> need, need more sleep, maybe. Because <laughs> it's just prefix, right? Yeah, okay, fine. Silly Larry. Uh, solve them. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord if you want to see more. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy to get mental health. Let me know what you think about this contest, this prom, and everything in between. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.